For many of us here, the DAP has been the only home we have ever known. And uh, we were born and raised here. Uh, today is a special day uh, for us. It's a historic day. Uh, and I think uh, these people you are seeing here will be the voice of the many voiceless and the, over the 300,000 refugees in the DAP uh, refugee complex. Uh, I, there's nothing uh, we can compare with Kitui's uh, generosity for extending their services into the refugee camps. What you told us, what we have learned in the last four days we were here, will not be only with us. We will uh, try and give back it to the community. We will be ambassadors of Kitui Chashreya and uh, we will make sure that everybody that needs legal aid will be represented. This training is very important because in the context of the DAP, a space that is uh, inhabited by refugees and the host community, and uh, we have people who have run, like uh, for instance uh, Somalia, civil war, but they had a diverse uh, opinion. And this diverse opinion, when they bring, come to the camp, they need to stay peacefully and uh, in harmony so that uh, we have prosperity. And that is where now the paralegals will have a lot of job or work to do to ensure that we stay in a peaceful environment. But for there to be peace and tranquility, communities need to have the understanding of the law. And I believe that uh, today, uh, as you leave this place, you are now empowered, you now have knowledge, and that knowledge you are going to use it to make the community a better place. And for us as a board, we just want to say that uh, at the policy level, we'll support the management in trying to make this network a greater place. So since 2008, we have been um, handling uh, forced migration matters. We have a specialized program uh, that deals specifically with forced migration, but we've mainly been working in the urban centers. So Nairobi, uh, Mombasa, Nakuru, everywhere where we have urban refugees. And our program has evolved. Initially, we mainly began as lawyers providing um, legal aid to refugees, uh, and also as uh, counselors providing psychosocial support to refugees. But then we have now shifted our approach and we thought that it is legal aid is not sustainable. And so what we are focusing on is uh, legal empowerment meaning that we empower you uh, to be the ones to deliver paralegal services to your communities and that those cases that are a bit difficult and technical, those are the ones that you refer to our office. But then also, because these paralegal skills uh, should not only serve refugees in the urban setups, we are also talking of, uh, we have expanded also to uh, refugees who are based in the camps. Uh, so that's Kakuma as well as uh, Dadab. Garissa, which is more like the end quarter for the county, has many other NGOs, but I do not think we have a community justice centre like this one, which is very unique far this side. If you, you listen to some of the founders of, of Kituo, they are very uh, specific on what society they would like to see. We like to see a transformed society. We want to see an empowered society. And we want to see an enlightened society. I just imagined as we moved uh, from Garissa into this place and looking at the state of the road, uh, you can imagine how many questions now you can be start asking. Why is the road network like this? Are we in Kenya? Why have these things not been changed for us? Why are we not having facilities closer to us? Those are the things that you get as a paralegal, I'm sure, you make the government accountable, you make the leadership of the local community accountable, and even the leadership of where you are staying, you make them accountable by asking key things. Because we are a small community, but we are connected by international laws which govern all of us, and Kenya is accountable to this. So, and I'm glad that at least you've extended your wings up to the dam. And there is no limit to law. I think law is law. So you being also legally empowered, I like 
movement from legal aid to legal empowerment. I think empowerment has a greater impact because now you have the knowledge, you've been given the skills to do it yourself. In your legal aid, you are, you are being given. It's like charity. But this one, you are being entitled, you are being empowered. You are now the rights holder. Yeah? So that's a very good thing. And I think um, Kituo, this is very good. Uh, partnership, collaboration is the way to go. You are now the pioneer, paralegally trained. We also have the Dada Law Courts, which also could be a very good opportunity for you to also exercise and practice what you've been given. Issues of Masla, yeah? Masla in the community. And I keep saying, Masla is not bad. We only need to infuse it with human rights principles. Because it's a very good alternative dispute resolution mechanism. So you as the pioneers, go there and run with it. So on behalf of uh, Refugee Led Organization Network of Kenya, we say thank you. And also thank you once again, Dr. Annette, for giving us an opportunity to partner and also mentoring our people. Because if you did not think about how refugees live, because in Kituo there is a forced migration program. That's number one. The reason why they really understand who are refugees and why refugees need this kind of training, including the refugee laws, which the new act. And I believe they are now able to know the difference between the 206 Act and 2021 Act. And because ignorance of the law is not defense, we are saying that everyone should know what the law provides and everyone should know how to use the law for their own benefit. And that's why this, uh, we have this program, so that you're able to respond to your own legal challenges and to serve as paralegals within your own communities. There are a lot of challenges in the community like uh, women are facing, and they don't know where to report and how the law says and their rights. So this is very, very important to us uh, that we are going to help our community with the little knowledge we get from the training. I'm very happy that we have a centre in IFO that we can deal with the cases and uh, all refugee members in the, the DAP setup can come and uh, address this, their cases. Now we have paralegal trained staff that will sort out those issues uh, in the legal way and then we get advice from the Katua Jashria. So we are so grateful for the help and assistance that uh, Ketuo Shasharia has already given to us. Then the first batch was uh, the grant which Ketuo gave us. We are grateful that we have received the laptop, we received the furniture, the table and the chairs. We also got the printer. This will help the organization to push forward with the activities that is coming forward so that uh, because of the manpower, if we have these two printers, we'll help the activities and we will be so grateful. Hopefully, the result will be seen positively. Thank you so much.